Hello viewers and welcome back to Hellblade and it was Sacrifice. Uh, this is part 3 of our walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. Just like he does. Right. When she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And as she saw them, elusive, shifting faces. So beautiful. The mountains, caves. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? I mean, who wants to go to the underworld? Mother? Not me. Galina. She was a priestess. A healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over. She misses her so much. Rain again? Wow, that's a beautiful sky over there. Be a boatman. Truth? Anyone? There is no one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. 
And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. It will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Alright. Got me some. Coffee. Hello there, sir. You wanna dance? Let's dance. <laughs> Having fun, sir? Yeah, it's something that counts. 
when there is a new road ahead. The only one that makes it. Ah! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Barry, focus! Sorry, sir. Not today. Let's go. Give me a free man. Kicking out, kicking out, kicking out breaks the, the, the guy's uh, shield. Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Shake it off, shake it off. Yeah, that's a big boy. Ugly big boy. Let's go. That was a cheap shot, and anyway. that get up no she's hurt she won't make it i Nothing! Kick you in your 
your face, boy. Much easier now with the kick. I'm figuring out the kick. All right. Ah, oh, these doors over here. some more puzzles not these ones though man okay the journey to hellheim is however you come to the gold covered bridge that leads to hell you may find it guarded by a giantess she Giant will ask your name is. she will ask your lineage she will ask your business the Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild. Okay. It's gonna be something over here. Has to be. X. X marks the spot. Illusion. Gotta be it though, yes. Okay. Now I got that weird weird symbol left. <coughs> now 
man, that was a good coffee. If I say so myself. Oh, Senua. Your father does not hate me. He just fears the souls in the underworld. He cannot see that they are already afraid. But I am their healer, and I must answer their cries for help, even if it displeases him. Okay, lady. Wow, was that it? like an easter egg or something because uh, I mean it's a dead end Hella possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. Sounds like my kind of girl. I'm sorry. and lost souls. How do you fight that? They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? world shaped by Senua's nightmares. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must 
accept that yours might be too. Nah. You failed. Why, well, Mario? It is pretty boring. <laughs> You're pathetic. <laughs> It's just a normal, normal, normal Curse. world. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? So How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. A shadow. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself because there is no one left to do that for you. Everywhere. What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just like your sword. Come on. There. Why go on, when you give everything and face that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined? Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer, that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer you have to go on. in a memory. You don't have a choice. A feeling. Song. It's not real. It's true. It's not real. Listen to it. She can't give up. It's nothing like this. It's not real. It's real. It's a trick. Don't trust it. Maybe you're already dead. Who are you? Do you still believe in yourself? Do I get a new weapon though? How can I defend myself with no weapon? A nice axe or something, you know? There it is. It's dead. He's got you as a How could you keep going? How could you keep going? Ignore the pain. I told you it was to trick you. met him. She was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. This one, barren and lonely. Figure of a boy. He's there. Under the 
soul play under the shade of a tree. She remembers the first time she saw Kelly. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. The gloom lifted. For the first time in years, she felt. Man! A ray of hope. A running uh, simulator over here. The Northmen. Of a great hero. His name is Sig. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree. The gift. Sigmund and his brother seem certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Is this now the back door? Mercy, though, but because or he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears at <coughs> you'll never guess what happens. What? What happened? A stupid story. Why don't you tell me the whole story? It's like eating one slice of a pie. That's boring. You eat the whole pie. Or take one bite out of, the, out of your donuts. No. Eat your donuts. We're going the wrong way. Hopefully. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him. Perfecting her own secret dance. These were some big boats, eh? Wish those fleeting moments of light would stretch out. I don't think I get a new uh, weapon. <laughs> oh, wow. What is she following? You can't even fight. It's just deception. How does he so effortlessly court the world and bliss? If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. What's your name? Senwa. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I... I watched you. And... You... Learned all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. 
to come and watch. And bring your sword. I've got no you can't sword put it into words. Anymore. That moment um, when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. broke my sword. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. You killed him. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, and don't tell them. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Believe it. Is he not real? Is he there? You're alone in these mountains. Is that Delia? Nothing lives here. No, it's not him. You won't survive. <laughs> What's this? She met him by the tree. She met him by the tree. Maybe it's a sign, the tree. What's he trying to tell you? He's waiting for you by the tree. No. That is not the way. Like, I like the combat, but... I don't know, the rest is pretty uh, boring. <laughs> Sigmund's face. He bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, yeah. and he is free. After his escape... Sigmund's sister trades shapes with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the fall. Nice! New weapon! <laughs> nice! Two faces are all there. Nothing. It's not safe. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. 
the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Interesting. This story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. The mask moved. <laughs> now it's broken again. Okay. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through him before he disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. Way too many times. He's always like Where is he? Where is he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. The dark. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glow. Senna explored new paths into the unknown. You can't. When we go back, change the world, come around the other side. Right? <coughs> Isn't he here? 
He's gone. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. Without you. Hope you guys enjoyed the series so far. and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Huth says, I cannot see the Northgard tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend. Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Like to be in love. Patterns. Shapes. <coughs> an intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. What if they're all about the world of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian. A future. What does she think she's doing? Two realities. You're tearing special. at her soul. She thinks she They mean nothing. Overcome with grief, the gods <coughs> send Hermon to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. 
gods send messengers everywhere. We Was it worth it? You are still alive at Dillion's death. Dillian never much cared for the underworld, and looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his uh -uh. father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see, and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, careful. No, she's not. She's, she's not bad. going to fall. There we go. Okay. Huggy hugs! Huggy oh, hugs! No! no. no. Oh, it's your fault. It's Father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? You give up the beautiful world thing. You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. It's done. And that's the end of the video. Goodbye.